Hi, I'm State Representative Tony Huang, and I'm here with three absolutely special people that, that are advocates, um, passionate supporters, and, and, and just heroes in regards to um, the mental illness support uh, arena. We have um, Judy Gardner, who is the president of the National Alliance for Mental Illness, the Fairfield Chapter. Uh, she's the president. Uh, let me begin this conversation. And it's a conversation, I think, that will hopefully continue and expand and, and address a very complex and emotional issue. But more importantly, in light of the current events that we've been dealing with, to, to, to raise clarity and, 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 and support for the importance of, of help in, in the mental illness arena. Now, has the executive director or president of NAMI share with me what NAMI is all about? and its goals, but also move into the differentiation of, of mental illness mm -hmm. as an illness and a brain disorder mm -hmm. uh, versus what a lot of the misconceptions or myths are out there. Sure. Um, I'm just the president of NAMI Fairfield, so that's, 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 I have a small title. We do have a NAMI Connecticut uh, that oversees us, and they have an executive director and, and the big shots up there. But. Um, NAMI is the National Alliance on Mental Illness, and its goals are threefold, to provide support, education, and advocacy for people who are living with mental illness and their family members. Um, we do that in a variety of ways, one of them being offering support groups on a monthly basis. Um, we provide education classes for family members, and we provide uh, a lot of advocacy on state and national levels. We have about 13 affiliates throughout the state, and they all basically try to provide the same thing. We are the largest grassroots, edu uh, grassroots organization for people living with mental illness and their families. That's who we are. We are family members and people living with mental illness. So it's, um, we know what it's all about. We live it day to day. And that's, I think, what makes what, what is so strong about our organization. What is it all about? What is what mental what is mental illness all and, about? And and living and living. I illnesses. think the key point you've said is not only individuals who suffer from mental illness and their family members. That's right. that's the catchword I've heard, and the, and the incredible value you provide is the fact that it's not just the individual, but it, it is the whole component right. that is impacted. Right. Well, mental illness. First of all any of the mental illnesses, and we're talking schizophrenia, bipolar disorder, major depression, anxiety disorder, OCD, um, uh, borderline personality disorder, and uh, post-traumatic stress disorder. These are all real illnesses, just like diabetes is a real illness, just like heart disease is a real illness, cancer. These are all brain disorders, which means that the chemicals in the brain aren't working the way that we would consider a healthy brain to be working. And because it's the brain that's the organ that's affected, the behavior, and the brain uh, influences our behavior, really controls our behavior, therefore the behavior has the symptoms. That's where you see the symptoms. But these aren't character flaws. These aren't choices that people make. These are real illnesses. And so that's what's so important is that um, to see them as illnesses, so then treatment can be found because people live in recovery. I mean, one out of four families is affected by mental illness, which means that you know someone, you know someone, you know many more people, but you know at least one person who has a mental illness. Chances are you probably don't know that they have a mental illness because they're probably getting treatment, they're connected with resources and services, and they're living successful lives. Some people are gonna know somebody <coughs> who doesn't seem to be doing that well. And those are the people that we you know, want to try to meet or reach. The thing is, is that the reason why I say family members too is uh, for a couple reasons. You know, behavior affects the whole family. So if someone's behavior is, is, is uh, erratic or irrational, everyone is gonna have to react to that and learn to deal with it. The other thing is the way that our system is set up in this country, um, when uh, a lot of the caregiving and support 95% of it for living successfully with <coughs> mental illness rests in the family. 
people come out of hospitals and go back to their families. And we all need to then learn how to live with this presence in our family. And we do it. You know, that's what NAMI helps people do through our family to family class, um, through our support groups. We support each other in learning how to access services, how to um, just do day to day life, just communication skills, coping skills, how to take care of ourselves, and how to take care of our loved ones. 